Hey guys, this is Harshad and today I'll be sharing with you guys some nice UI libraries and components that you can actually reuse and build your own AI applications. And you might have already been familiar with Shad and UI and I want to show you guys uh, some templates and other components that have actually been built on top of Shad and UI. So if you just look into the first one, it's, it's going to be a Shad and UI uh, templates. So these are templates that have been built using Shadsy and UI, and not all of these are free. All right, so there's Acromatic, there's Horizon. Horizon also has a free boilerplate, but again, um, there's a pro version as well. And most of these templates are like, um, people have been, uh, people just build these and they're actually trying to sell these templates for around like even $200. It starts off at around $50, some go up to around $300 but I just don't get the point of paying $300 for just a template because, or you can you can simply just go to v0.dev and then clone anything, like, and you're only paying $20 a month for this. So you can literally clone anything with just v0.dev. So it doesn't really make sense to pay for UI templates. And I, I really wouldn't do that. I just, it just doesn't make any sense. And now if you just look at these free components, you can always, always use these free components, right? So if you just try to download um, this, this admin dashboard because admin dashboard is something um, it's it's like a staple right if any kind of SaaS that you're building it's just simply two things the first one is going to be the website website is e easy to build a header a middle section and then you have the pricing and a footer that's it that's basically it you can add as many animations as you want but these are the couple of things that are very important for an AI AI SaaS website right and after that if you just want to go ahead and build your admin dashboard for admin dashboard you actually have this nice admin dashboard that's actually been built um, on top of shad and ui you can just download this as well right so you can always go ahead and just you know uh, change it as you want um, try adding a better sidebar you can do whatever you want using cursor again all right but now now let's look into another component library so now we already know there's a shad and ui exists it's actually by versal so very, very easy to integrate with um, Next.js. Now, if we just look into acromatic.dev, so acromatic.dev is something that I just came across. So, so basically building your SaaS um, just got unfairly easy. I actually like the way they put this. And so these are a couple of uh, templates that they have. It's a master page, uh, that's a details page. This is cool, it's, you know, maybe you can try to reuse these for a CRM or whatever AI application that you're building. And then there's a setting page, this, you know, so, so um, this is actually just being built and this looks so nice, right? I mean, of course, it's still Shadsy and UI itself, but you don't have to build the component itself. That, meaning I can go ahead and just say, I can just go ahead, take a screenshot, go to, uh, go to V0 and say, clone this. I can do that. So let's also see the output and then compare um, how productive really these templates and other libraries are, right? So let's just wait for this and see how this does. Because the thing the thing with v0.dev is it's great, right? You can, you can simply just clone anything. You can clone anything. The thing is it takes a couple more prompts to perfect it. Basically, it just takes a couple more prompts to get it exactly the way you want it to. So instead, if you want those kind of components, you can just simply go and use acromatic.dev, right? So these kind of components. So now I'll actually just go to the component itself and then look at these, right? So it's actually very, very similar, very, very similar to Shad and UI. But if you just look at these, right? So components, there's avatar group, which you'd definitely be using on your website, showing testimonials, and then, um, annotated i don't know what exactly this is but maybe maybe it's a use case maybe it's a definitely a nice use case okay color picker color picker if you're doing some kind of like you know application okay this this is this is even cooler so you can just up upload a image and then it actually just crops so that's basically for any application which has a user avatar that is going to be important and then a couple of more things here okay before that let's just uh hop okay this is good see it, it, see, it did it did make it. It was good. It actually just made the entire thing. Um, see, even even it's it's also hidden. Um, see, it it's actually working, right? It's working. The only thing is, 
it, it does take a little bit more refinement because you want it to be a little different maybe you you just want see i mean look at this it put a youtube logo there so it's great v0 is great i mean if you just want to do it completely by yourself i just recommend just go ahead completely from scratch using v0 and i'm actually do i've done an another video as well which is just being compressed right now um i've actually built a complete website by myself as an encoder th through the video from start to hosting it everything I I've, I've i've done it and i'll be sharing that video as well very soon i'll be uploading it so that's something that you can definitely watch we guys just getting back to the components i mean page like i mean look at this right like nice pagination task i mean this is this is like a you know if you're if you're creating a an app like trello that'll be super important it's five stars if you're creating some user user and application where rating is required like uber uber requires rating so, right so i mean all of these look good it's it's all see all of these are basically shad c in itself but they just made it into like components and then they're just trying to share this with other developers also it's just it's just so funny that i'm calling myself a developer because I don't know man do you guys think it's fair to call myself a developer i mean you go watch the video because i've started everything from scratch and built it just by prompting and i don't know maybe engineers wouldn't like um you know non-coders just calling themselves developers but it is what it is man if you can just bring the output without knowing how to code if you can prompt well you are a developer that's what i feel and that's th that's where the world is heading yeah that's all guys this is what i wanted to share with you and Hope this was helpful. A super short video about component libraries and different components and different templates that you can use that have been built on top of Shatsy and UI. That's all for today. Peace. Hey guys, this is Harshad and today I'll be sharing with you guys some nice UI libraries and components that you can actually reuse and build your own AI applications. And you might have already been familiar with Shatsy and UI. And I want to show you guys 